Doug, let's talk about data and the Internet of Things. Uh, sensors throw off enormous amounts of data. We thought we were seeing a lot of data in the web era, and now in the mobile, wearables, uh, smart devices, Internet of Things era, that amount has just got to be multiplying enormously. Are you seeing that at Cloudera? Oh yeah, we've definitely got customers who have um, lots of sensors. We've got um, railways and heavy equipment manufacturers um, and farmers um, uh, who everything they do is getting uh, fed back upstream uh, to data centers and analyzed uh, and they're able to improve their utilization of, um, of rail networks. They're able to um, diagnose um, equipment uh, before it fails uh, and do preventative maintenance. Um, uh, they're able to do uh, uh, customized plantings in, in a field um, depending on the, the history of the, of the soil and the, the irrigation uh, yeah, in I, the area. I, yeah, I think um, it's a great uh, example of that when Monsanto bought Climate Corp, mm -hmm. which of course is a bunch of ex-Googlers who put together a, a data startup using precision weather data. When they bought it, they put it together with another startup they bought called Precision Planting. So you see the loop between big data and robotics, you know, right there. And it's also interesting how that's changing the ecosystem of the computer industry because, uh, you know, when you talk to them, you say, well, who are your competitors? And they say, well, John Deere, you mm -hmm. know. So who would think that Monsanto would be competing with John Deere on the tech front? <laughs> right, right. You know, yeah. that it, it really brings uh, home how technology is seeping into everything, big data is seeping into everything. No, that's, that's the thing that totally amazes me, is that these are, these are industries I'd never expect um, to see my work in, involved in. You know, I've always I've been in software for, you know, 25, 30 years now, uh, and it's always been really hard to explain how it gets used. Uh, and now you can, you can say it's out there in, in railways, it's out there in cars, it's, it's everywhere. Yeah, uh. it's sort of funny. Uh, Mark Andreessen famously said, "Software is eating the world." I always thought that was wrong. It's it's really the world is eating software, you know, and you know, building software into its new tissue. Yeah, well, and I I, I think that the thing I don't like about the statement is that I mean, I love the statement first, <laughs> but the thing it doesn't capture is the data. Yeah. Um, it's it's not the software is 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 eating the data, and the world is becoming data. Yeah, uh, I think is is what the way I see it. That's right. A little bit back to Galantner and Mirror Worlds. Uh, <laughs> you know, a sufficiently rich uh, mirror of the world becomes the world. Right. Good. Yeah.